It's okay, manatee. Jamal's here to help. This manatee's in trouble. He's too young to be in the water without his mom, and he's feeling scared. But Jamal, the manatee rescuer, knows just what to do. He hugs the manatee tight, and he feels calm again. Finally, the rescue can begin. It's like the manatee can tell, I'm safe now. Jamal's team lifts him carefully onto the rescue truck, and they get to work. Jamal thinks this manatee is only a couple of weeks old. Manatees usually live with their mothers for two whole years. So this baby is way too little to be on his own. Jamal gently sprays him with water to keep him comfortable. It's not good for his skin to get too dry. Not only that, he hasn't had any food in a long time and it's made him dehydrated. So he needs to drink a lot. He's probably thinking, this tastes different than milk. He might still be a little scared, but what he doesn't know is that he's in the best hands. Jamal has been rescuing manatees since he was 11 years old. That's when he saw a manatee research boat for the first time. He was fascinated, so he asked a question that would change his life forever. I said, can I come up with you guys? Would the scientists let a kid help them with their research? And he looks at me and he's like, ah, oh, kid, let's go. So Jamal jumped right in. The scientists taught Jamal how special manatees are and how they're in danger. They were studying manatees so they could learn how to protect them better. That's when Jamal decided he was going to be a manatee rescuer just like them. He thought, Even though I was 11 years old, why not me? Fast forward to today, and Jamal's rescuing dreams have come true. Right now, Jamal is feeding the manatee. He's giving it some rehydration fluids. We have our volunteers on board, and we're gonna take this animal to be rehabilitated. Jamal travels around with his team, looking for manatees in trouble. Like this baby, who was only two days old when he was separated from his mother during a hurricane or this mama manatee who got hurt by a boat. When Jamal finds a manatee who needs help, he gently carries them out of the water so he can take them to his rescue center. He checks them out so he can give them the care they need. Sometimes he needs to run tests to find out if there's something wrong he can't see. But he spends a lot of his day doing this. So many adorable babies. So many bottles. Jamal loves how curious manatees are. It's almost like they're checking on him at the same time he's checking on them. You good? I'm good. You good? He loves how even though they're big, they're so gentle and smart. When he tracks them, he can see how they migrate hundreds of miles to the same warm water every year. Jamal has dedicated his life to showing people these gentle giants are part of our community. He wants manatees to live safely in the wild. And that's why his rescue work doesn't stop here. Jamal is teaching the next generation of manatee lovers how to care for these beautiful animals. Because as he knows, you're never too young to become a rescuer. Hi, Jamal. Just ask Autumn. <laughs> Your job is so cool. One day I hope that I can actually see manatees. I saw a baby manatee picture and oh, they're so cute. What I'm doing is more than just awareness. It's literally giving a space another chance to get in the wild where it should be. One day these manatees will be big enough to go back to the wild. And when that day comes, Jamal will stand proudly on the shore watching his friends swim free. One of the promises that I've always made to my do is wherever I am and whatever I'm doing, if you're ever in need, I'll be there. And that's a promise that I hope to keep for the rest of my life. Dodo Kids! Help the kittens find the subscribe button.